Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nave. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up VSTs for your Elgato Wave microphone. So there's going to be three VSTs today. The first one is RNN Noise. The second one is D-Gate. And the third one is TDR Nova. If you're not familiar with TDR Nova specifically, basically it's just an EQ VST. RNN noise is noise suppression and D gate is it's a noise gate. It's as simple as that. Now these are the simplest softwares except for to, uh, TDR Nova. The other two are very simple. They're very plug and play and it, they're basically instant. So first we're gonna have to go to Elgato's website to download the Wavelink software, which I've already got installed, but I'm gonna put it here just in case if you, the viewer needs it. So first off, you wanna go to Elgato's website. Links, yeah, all the links will be down in the description below. Elgato. And then you go on top into the top right, download, select your product, Wavelink, set it for Windows or Mac, depending on what you're on. I'm doing this on Windows, and I know this works on Windows. I do not know if this works on Mac at all. Now, you, all you're going to want to do is just click download, and that's literally it. I'm going to leave this in the, the description as well. This is going to be an article for VSTs and VST types that actually work with Elgato's microphones now a lot of these vsts may or may not work properly with your current setup with what you have and all this other stuff so please do keep that in mind the third link in the description will be winrar this is very important you're going to need this this is just a simple extraction tool uh, if you don't know how to install this just you go to this page and then just select the 64-bit assuming that your uh, device is 64-bit at the current time of this recording it is 64-bit 6.11 you just you just get the free trial it's as easy as just clicking it and then it'll just ask you to install it and then the fourth link this one will be d gate this is the noise gate in here all we're gonna have to do is click on the blue icon which says windows vst2 slash vst3 that that's this is the one that you want the one on the top the free one and then tdr nova in here all you got to do is scroll down a little bit and then click the windows installer the last thing in here which is going to be on github this is going to be for the rnn noise the noise suppression all you're going to have to do is got to click on windows 64-bit assuming your system is 64-bit so once you have the vsts installed all i want you to do is find the path on your pc of c program files common i'm going to put this down in the description below so you could just copy and paste it in the uh, file locator when you're in here make a new folder and call it vst this will help simplify things making things easier for you once you've done all this and you've ran the setup for your wavelength software just open up this folder and then use winrar this one to extract everything in here and just and you can leave it as messy as it is in here it doesn't really matter once everything is extracted all you're going to want to do is go to your wavelength software and then you're going to want to click on the little cog icon on the top right click on audio effects and then you want to click on the choose vs2 folder vst2 folder and then you want to just click on vst select folder and then you want to hit scan for plugins simple and as soon as you hit scan for plugins it will scan the whole folder and it will tell you if there's any plugins detected now in this case there should be rnn noise there should be three things in here rnn noise tdr nova as well as dgate if you get all three you can move on so assuming that you're getting all three click x x out of everything and then down here in the bottom left right underneath where your microphone would be popping up and down you want to click on this icon once you click on this icon you click add and then just here you should be able to see all this stuff in here all you're going to want to do now is just click on noise suppression and then add again and then click on d gate if you want to mess around with tdr nova you can you can look for optimal settings online or you could set it up yourself if you are uh, very familiar with sound settings and stuff like that this is so easy the reason why I'm choosing these two specifically is because the only one that you have to mess around with is D-Gate. RNN noise or noise suppression, when you open it, you'll just have this little tab thing that just pops up in the top left. If this tab pops up, it means that it's running already. So you could just hit X and 
never have to touch it again unless you want to remove it. D-gate, I recommend putting maybe at negative 40, negative 30 in the, uh, the slider over here. That's just what I recommend. One thing to know is that when setting up your filters in here, what you're going to want to do is once you're done with your filters and you want to apply it to every single microphone source that you use. So if you want it to automatically apply to Discord, automatically apply to everything, all you're going to have to do is find your sound icon on the bottom right, right click it, hit sounds, and then this window should pop up. Once this window pops up, all you're going to want to do is hit recording. You're going to want to find one of the boxes in here. It should have your microphone wave bouncing and you want to find the one that says microphone effects this one is any filters onto the microphone if you only use mic in this will have no filters this has filters so all you want to do is right click it and then set it as default device and default communication device once you set that you are good to go you don't really need to touch anything afterwards and you could just hit ok and you're basically done thank you all so much for watching don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.